Hello and welcome to this second video on ultrasound. Here I'm going to show you an example six mark answer. This question I've seen as a six mark answer, I've seen as a four mark answer, I've seen as a two mark answer. Um, I've seen them all because in preparation for doing this I sat down with a large stack of exam papers and a pen. I went through and I did all of the P3 questions. What I've come up with is looking at all the different mark schemes for this is my best example answer. So if you learn nothing else about ultrasound, please learn this. So you should be familiar with all of this from my previous video. If you're not, go back and look at that to recap. But this is what I've come up with. Ultrasound can be used to look at the differences between tissues. Different tissues have different densities. When ultrasound crosses the boundary between one tissue and another, partial reflection will take place. Some of the waves will be reflected and some will be transmitted and refracted. Ultrasound waves travel at different speeds in different densities. You can use the time taken for the wave signal to return to calculate the distance between boundaries. And using the equation distance equals speed times time, you can calculate the distance between these. This is a very short video. If any of that didn't make sense to you, it has all been explained in the ultrasound video. There's more on reflection and refraction in the next video in this series, which is the refraction index. And if you don't understand what reflection or refraction are, then I suggest you go back to P1 or revise it. Good luck.